There was a day he even strangled my neck. He said he's going to kill me. At every slight provocation, he must react. The second video is from Cape Town. Yeah, Cape Town, this pastor, uh, they had to call the police to get this pastor to start behaving. What's up guys, it's Ricky. We are going to talk on this video about the subject of abusive pastors. You know, they come into the church, they'll be busy smiling. He made the Lord bless Una. May the Lord bless Una much, much. But at the background, their wives are struggling. That's why their wife's smile is never there 10 minutes. It's never there for two seconds. Because, because these guys at home, they are beast. Beast. So there are two videos that I want to show you. One of a pastor down in Cape Town, South Africa, of course, and one in Nigeria. Mm. There is a video that came out today on Twitter. And this the, the lady was just had a video talking about this pastor. The Nigerian lady, which is a video of her um, uh, that she posted online. Okay. Hi. I'm a blessing by name. I've been married now for six years. Please, I need help. Let me say, play this video to anywhere, to any human rights organization that can help me. Please help me. I need help. I've been married for six years now to an abusive man. This man beats me. This man locks me outside. This man refused to let me work. And then even 5,000 naira monthly allowance, he doesn't give me. At times, money to feed is a problem. I have to contact his spiritual father before his spiritual father can send money to me to feed. That's if I don't have money to feed. That's how pathetic it is. What I want the audience to do for me is to help me get out of this marriage. I am dying. There was a day he even strangled my neck. He said he's going to kill me. At every slight provocation, he must react. At every slight provocation, he must react. Even my kids, I have a kid of, of, of three years and five years. Before the presence of these kids, I go through this assault. The, the thing is just too much. It seemed like it would stop. It never did stop. It's only getting worse. While I'm doing this video, it's, I don't want any form of reconciliation with Mr. Precious. All I want from him is to, give, is to do what he needs to do. Take his responsibility for me to leave. He's not willing to take his responsibility because I want to leave. He is saying that if I'm leaving his house, I have to take responsibility of the kids and everything. All by myself. I know a lady that had uh, a situation where uh, the, the guy, uh, the husband, didn't want to do nothing. And, uh, and, all. and I think it took an average of about four years. The man was spending money with uh, prostitutes, with, uh, with women, with, club, uh, with clubs. And uh, the man was earning upwards of about 30 something thousand. And the house, they wouldn't have food. Yeah, guys, tell me what you think of it. Uh, what what should be the, the resolution for, for things? So she's not uh, wanting to get any resolution with this particular pastor. And until spiritual fatherhood comes in, the lady will be starving at home. And so the second video is from Cape Town. Yeah, Cape Town, this pastor, uh, they had to call the police to get this pastor to start behaving. And even in front of the police bear in mind the police are there so i'm gonna play the video a little bit so that you can see the scene here even at the presence of the police uh, the pastor is still misbehaving okay that's the pastor that's the police over there okay so is it illegal for you to be hitting your wife? That's what she's saying. So the kids are not going to school. So the pastor is apparently even restricting the kids from going to school. Yeah, yeah.
it's not the first time I hear of something between kids. I remember there was a cult down in Cape Town. Also, that didn't allow kids to go to school. And that's how it blew up. And they said they don't believe in the system and the whole nine yards. And so, another cult leader here. And so, yeah. So, the police are saying, you know, talk to them, come down. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. And even in front of thing, this is a short video, unfortunately. And so, that's another pastor. They had to call the police on this particular one. And it's so, it's, I don't know. If you know the particular pastor, I know he's from Cape Town, but I don't know the name of the pastor. So, do alert us so that we can put also his name bah! in the description. <laughs> that when a person is searching, <laughs> pastor so and so. Bah, the video will come up and so these are the two cases so y'all yeah, tell me what you think this particular one i know the video was on twitter i grabbed it from twitter but i've had it forever i never thought uh, i never thought i would actually get to use it but then when i saw the twitter video and then i just thought you know they just make it one video they are out there smiling and so uh, you'll think the man is holy ah get into the house you meet a beast a beast a beast turns into something else uh, otherwise and so it's ricky guys the rich reality show we do daily christian commentary uh, uh, things so be careful so other videos that are done today they'll be down in the pinned comments and i'll see you on a later on y'all be good subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of commentary and i will see you on a later on pastor please get yourself in check yeah don't be a charlie and then end up on this show us talking about you in this manner we want to talk about you in very positive terms very very positive up you know emotionally excited but otherwise if you are doing otherwise we'll, we'll label you also as one of the chalis in this world it's ricky subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of commentary and i'll see you on later on other videos down in the paid comments it's ricky and i'll be out be good